All right, again, uh, given the uh, volume of the card, What we are trying to do, uh, we are trying to find points on the curve where the tangent is horizontal. Okay, horizontal tangent uh, implies or requires dy dx equals zero. So we have already dy dx. Again, uh, we look, it's two y minus x squared over. I'm sorry? I'm blanking on how you've done that. This one? Look at the notes from uh, Monday. It's on, on the notes. So we want it to equal zero, and this will happen if the numerator equals zero. So this is the same as asking 2y minus x squared to equal zero. It tells, and here we have, uh, we need to, so let's solve for y, so y is x squared over 2. So how are we going to find the points? Any idea what to do next once we have, we reach this point? Plug it in, plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. Plug it in, plug it in. So where? What? Where? Where the y. Substitute y equal x squared over 2 in the original curve. And this is something that is typical when it comes to uh, dealing with curves that are relations, that we're dealing with implicit uh, equations. So what we're going to do now, we're going to substitute uh, y equals x squared over 2 in the original equation, x cubed plus y cubed equals 6xy. And now we're going to solve for x, and once we solve for x, we can get back y out of it. So we plug it in, and we have... <clears throat> and then solve for x. Okay, so we go x cubed. Instead of y cubed, we have x squared over 2 cubed equal to 6x times x squared over 2 for y. Uh, and we need to work this out. So uh, we have the following. We have x cubed plus x squared cubed is x to the 6, and 2 cubed is 8. And on the other side, we have 3, 6 over, uh, th 6 over 2. So we have 3x cubed. Okay? We have now something like this. If you move everything to the left side, then you have x cubed minus 3x cubed. So you have negative 2x cubed plus x to the 6 over 8 equals 0. Okay? This can be factored. If we factor x cubed, um, then we can write it like so. x cubed times negative 2 plus x cubed over 8 equals 0. 
Okay? By the zero factor principle, the zero product principle, we have two solutions. One solution is x cubed equals zero, or the other solution is x cubed over eight minus two equals zero. <coughs> Those are the two solutions. Of course, uh, x cubed my equals zero gives us x equals zero is one solution. The other solution, x cubed over eight minus two equals zero, gives you x cubed uh, over 8 equals 2, or x cubed equals 16. Uh, okay? Unfortunately, 16 is 4 squared, or 2 to the 4th. So, we're going to, or 8, we need, we need for, for, uh, for uh, we're looking for the perfect cube. So, it will be 8 times 2, and therefore, x by itself will be the cube root of 8, which is 2, times the cube root of 2. And there is no plus minus because this is the cube root. So we have these two solutions, 0 and 2 cube root of 2. Now, what about y? Okay, so one solution, <coughs> if... Uh, if uh, if x equals this, so then what about y equals x squared over 2? Okay. That's a little bit tougher, but if you work it out, then you'll have 2 cube root of 2 squared over 2, like so. Then you have four you square either one, so you have four cube root of four over two, or you end up having two cube root of four. So put the points are Uh, x, y equals, when x equals 0, y equals 0, so we have 0, 0, and the other point is when x equals uh, 2, cube root of 2, y equals 2, cube root of 4. So this is the solution set. Those are the points. What I strongly recommend that at home, go back to the graph that we just plotted for the, uh, for the uh, volume and plug these points and see if indeed at this point the tangent is horizontal line. Uh, the tangent will be, of course, y equals zero. So the tangents are y equals 0, and y equals 2, cube root of 4, okay, in case you're wondering. <coughs>